Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Happy Friday morning. Phew, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday this time I was with my hubby and he was having a procedure on his throat and um, I needed to do some biopsies and um, now we wait and see. Um, they did do something with his esophagus yesterday and well, we're going to see if that helps and then um, we're going to wait and see what the biopsies reveal. So while I was at the hospital yesterday, I finished cutting out my little charms that I was making the day before. And I found that if I cut them too close, they separated. Okay? So you got to be really careful when you're cutting them off. But they'll still work for what I'm going to be doing. And, you know, as long as I didn't cut them close, they're fine. So I did those. And then I decided to... Um, finished cutting up and I went and before when I went to the hospital I bought a bunch of sheets of freebies some of these are from Antonio Makes, some of these are from um, gosh probably um, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah I, I have no clue um, they're in my freebie folder and um, when I see things and I want them I put them in there well this time I, I cut them up I took all these with me to the, to the hospital and I cut them all up so, um, there were three or four sheets I did, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them now, because I believe in using what I, what I have. So, remember that paper we made last week? Well, I had some leftover pieces, scraps, so I made these little flippy envelopes. And I know um, uh, Rachel from Roxy, Roxy's Creations has made these. I know Tina's made these. Um, I'm sure um, uh, Tracy Fox, all those gals have made them. So I um, put my little um, laminated piece as the closure, and then I just decorated with a tag. Okay? And I'll show you just, I can show you the fold on these. It's real easy. But so anyway, I was able to recycle these. So I did this yesterday at the hospital. But these were... Um, you know, from just leftover scraps from my paper that I made, okay? And all you do to make these is you take um, you take a piece of paper, however wide, you know, these some of these were three inches. This is like one, two, three, three and a quarter. These, these ones are smaller because they're smaller scraps. These are two inches. You just take whatever piece you want. Um, take the this would be the top. You, you fold these two pieces over to make a triangle. And I just I glue these down because I don't want to deal with it later. So I just I glue my flaps down. Some of the gals they don't do it that way, but that's okay. And then you go. Usually I use double sided or something a pattern inside because I it looks better, but you know this is to write on, so white is fine, and you could ink on here or decorate it. So you just fold up the bottom. Actually, they just they suggest you just roll them. Here we'll do this one. You make your point. Go to the bottom, and they just roll this up until it got up to the top where you want it to stop. Make sure everything's tucked in nice. And then you can fold it down. And there you go. And then you could put something down here um, to hold it. Or you could, um, you know, tie it with a string or put a um, clasp in and whatever. Close it your way. But there you go. And then this is to write journal writing in. So use your scraps. That's all I'm saying. Um, this is just leftover pieces. So I will use these. And um, they look cute in your journal. Big or small. I like the small ones too. This uh, paper was from Lily Fee the Paper Witch. Uh, I like to use the um, collage pages on these because I just think they look really cute. 
but so I'm using my leftover um, dingle dangle laminated pieces and some cards. These were from Happiness and Crafting or um, Rachel and Bella. I think these were from Rachel and Bella. But anyway, just use what you have. Don't be shy. Use up your scraps. And we'll put this out of the way. So then I got to thinking last night, because I was missing crafting lately, that in those freebies that I punched out, and a lot of these came, I think, from Mario Makes, uh, Antonio Makes. And these, they were birds. And I think I've got like seven birds were in here that I cut out yesterday. It might be one or two left. And big butterflies and things. Uh, I might have all the birds out. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I can take off the ones. Um, these samples I'll take off. So what started out for me was um, I was resting when I got home and... I'm, I love file, file folder or anything. So this is how it started, but I'll show you how it evolved. So I had this in my head, you know, enough to make a tab and then cut out a window and then you could put something behind it and, and it could go in your journal. Fair enough. So then I said, well, why can't we do some um, vertical ones? Okay, they don't have to be horizontal, and you don't even have to put anything behind it if you wanted to journal in here or put some words. So that looks kind of cute, and I just stuck a bird on it. But instead of the tab in front, which I didn't like, it's in the back where I do like it. Okay, very simple. Then I thought, hmm, let's go a little further, and I had these little um, leftover pieces of um, vellum from when you get these, uh, I don't know, these are from my vellum frames, and I just save these, I just save them, I don't know why, but um, this one's too short, but you could put them over here if you wanted to have a window, okay? So this one, I didn't add that yet because that's too small, I can cut another piece of vellum here, but you could do that, but this is what I ended up with, okay? So this one, um, I did it long, and um, I put one of the birds down and a, a card from my porch prints. I just layered with lace and some paper and some uh, sequins, and then I put a little charm here of beads, and it's got a window, okay? This would make a great greeting card. It would just slip into an envelope. Oh, I don't know if I have an envelope right here. But, you know, say you wanted to send something in an envelope. That would fit nicely. Okay. Or I'm going to put it in my um, Collaboration of Love book. Uh, remember we did this one last time with the window. And here's some tucks. And how we added some tucks here. And these freebies came from Line.Arrow. Okay, so if there's freebies out there. All this was freebies. Most of this is freebies. So these are some leftover pieces I had when I was just practicing um, with my uh, spackle and my stencils. So I just inked around them and tore them. And I thought, where's the pretty I just made? I thought I will um, glue these down and put my little card in here. Okay, so then it can get added to my journal. Uh, it's here. If I want to use it for something, I could take it out. Because remember, these are, um, this is like storage. You know, you can, a lot of this comes off. This is just pinned on. This comes off. The tags and stuff, paper clips. So this is just like a little um, book of suggested ideas and things. So. That's what we'll do with this. We'll put this together later, but let's, I'll show you how to put these together. So the best thing to do I found was um, one sheet of paper. Oh, where's the other one? One sheet of paper, you can get two of these. Okay, so this was 
this paper. This is a freebie as well. I'm sorry, I don't know from whom. But yeah, we're just going to cut it eight and a half by eleven. Just cut it in half, and you have two pieces. Um, I also thought these are all going um, vertical. I also thought, why can't we go horizontal? And then I thought, well, you know, if we just take this and we go horizontal, but then you don't want to. I don't want to cut this image out. So it's best to do either with um, something that's not so busy or with a pattern so you have some, some play. So I decided to take some of my um, paper that I ma made the other day, and it's not real fancy, you know, it's just splatter, but there's a video on it. But I just cut it in half. And what you want to do, okay, so we're going to go, um, we're going to make this one uh, horizontal, okay? So you've got this. You want the back longer. So when you fold it, just leave an inch here. I mean, half an inch in the back. So decide which piece you want on the front. And so we have this half an inch here. So that's where we'll put our seam. Okay, now you can use your... Um, envelope punch board, you can use a file maker, you can use all that stuff. But for those of us that don't have all that stuff, easy peasy. So this one um, was more in the center, this tab. This one was um, more up on top, and this one was up on top. So decide where you want your, um, your tab. Let's put one down here, okay? So all I did was um, I just cut in a little bit to make my tab. And I, you don't need it real big. And then I just cut to the end there and cut this off. Not rocket scientist. I tend to do things very simple. Okay, we got that. And um, I like to round my corners. I just think it looks better this way. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get in there because of the tab. So do the one. And then you can just go with your scissors and do the other. And if you think um, this is too wide, you know, you can trim it a little bit. Trim it straight though. Okay. So now I would cut cut my hole here, but say we want to go this way. Okay. And this is, you know, plain inside so we can put something in there. So all I did was I used my let's see that. So, um, we're going to cut horizontal here. So this is the piece you're going to cut on. So I opened it up, and um, I just played around with it and saw that it was two, three, four, five. It's five and a half. So the center would be um, two and three quarters, just say. One... Two, no, two and three quarters. So that's the center, roughly. So maybe go out, um, maybe go out an inch, come down an inch, and go out an inch. So we're just going to see where that is. And... I'm trying, I'm using these um, lines on the guide here. So, where's my center there? So, just come out an inch here and an inch here. No, let's go inch and a half. Okay. And then let's go down 
one and a quarter. I don't have a pencil, so I'm using a pen, and it doesn't matter because it's going to be inside. One and a quarter. Oops. One and a quarter here. And what's that? Well, I'll have to go down to there. Okay, there's our center, and there's our half. Okay, this is what we're going to cut out. Now, I'm using this, my gyro cut. You can use an X-Acto knife. You can use scissors. I don't use a ruler for this. I just try to use a steady hand. I don't have my gloves on. And this is a self-sealing self-healing mat so I can use it. Now if your hands are shaky, you know, or whatever, you can use your ruler as a guide. So I've not seen these and I thought they were cute because uh, being a file folder lover, I thought they were cute. Okay. And, of course, you can save that. And um, then just look it over and say, hmm, needs a little trim in here, so just go in there. Take your little scissors, and you can do any clean up. So there, now we have a, um, a side pocket, a side tab, and we have an open window. So let's um, take a piece of our, um, this is old. And I wasn't careful with it, so it's a little dirty. So just make sure it fits. And we'll just rough cut it. Okay. So we'll just glue this on with some Back glue. This is the uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. It's the glue we all use. And then when you put this on, make sure you push away from the holes so your glue doesn't go in there. Okay, so now you have that. Now this, um, we're going with it this way. So you can find something to put in there. Like say you wanted to put words in there. You could, you know, if you wanted to put something with words, that could go there. Or um, since it's black and white, if you had... Um, a pretty pattern or something, a scene or something like that. You could put that in there. That would look cute. Let's just do that because it's sitting here. And my aim is to use things on my desk. See, now I realize, you know, it's going to have this in there. That doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you can put a piece of um, pretty scrapbook paper over there. I'm not, I'm not bothered. So, let's just... Um, Cut this a little bit. It's going to go there. Yeah. I like it. It goes with that paper. So, again, um, we're just going to put glue around this piece here. Gently, because I like to put it in and then 
make sure it's where I want it in the front. Oops. That got messy. To find my wife. So there, now we have it that it flips this way. So might want to ink it up a little bit and get some and tone some of this down. So this was white paper. Yeah, for those of you that um, that don't like that, just let's see, it's um, it's five and a quarter by five and a quarter by four. Let me cut this. Around the corners. Like I said, I'm just making this up as I go along. So, um, let's cut it a little bit more, so it's a little narrower. Yep, use the big one because that's what we used over there. And then we can put this on here. Okay? So, let's get our glue stick, which is missing in action. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. I think a gremlin comes in here at night and moves things around. And that'll cover your um your words. I could have shortened it over there, but that's okay. So then it um gives it some bulk too. Okay? And so then for decorating, I mean we could keep it as simple as um following our plan, just putting um one of the our found objects from the stash that I just cut. Uh, something that will go with the colors on here. You know, that would be perfect. And then I was using these uh, pop-up dots just to make things stand up a little bit. But just just remember your orientation. That looks cute there. And then we could put this, this one over here. And um, I need to cut this. That there. Oops. Barco. Put that there. Put this here. Put this here. Now, these ones on my samples, um, I could take off. They're just sitting on there. I could take them off. Okay, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, before I put this on, um, I would want to stitch around here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got stitched around there. Now I'm going to put my butterfly back on. And my flower here.
and these are just so cute. You know, so use what you have. Dress them up a little bit. Keep them simple. It's your style. Then, um, yeah, now this is kind of flimsy because it's um, just uh, copy paper. So I think I like them better on cardstock. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, I could I could back this. I have another piece of paper here, which I might do. Um, just to reinforce it later, okay, because it is a little flimsy, nothing to worry about, um, for whatever reason, I'm using what's on my desk, and today it's blue sequins, don't ask me why, they were on my desk from a thought I had, so let's just put a couple of these on here, one, two, three, because they were cute. And uh, we'll find a word. Let's find lots of words. This would have to have something on the smaller side, I think. Do one of our words from um, my porch prints. So we have that, and we could just put it on a piece of lace so it's pretty. Uh, maybe a little black. Eyelash trim, maybe, or black thread, whatever you have. We'll put that on here. Put it down here. Put our lace down. And put some glue on top of the eyelash trim. And, oops, sorry, sandwich our little card on there. Cute. Now I want to put an eye, eyelid up there. So I'm using the uh, one eighth inch. And we'll put it up in up here. And let's see, what color do we have? Pink? No. How about just a silver one? Let's just do a silver one. Yeah. And that too is is a little bit flimsy. Um, I'm gonna leave it, but in the future I would line that a little bit because the cardstock works much better. But this will be okay for our purposes. Hands are not working at all. My word. Okay, so we have that there, but it's going this way, remember. So I will use a blue one. And our birds, our birds. Whoa, our beads will be. Pink, let's do a pink, blue, green, a 
different blue. And a different green. So there you have it, my friends. A little dangle on top. You have your little, um, let's see, stick, be glued down a little bit more. Yep. You have our butterfly. Isn't that cute? Okay. So, you know, I mean, it could go this way, but everything's oriented this way now. So we have that one. We have this one that I just have to finish. Um, where's my book? Let's finish this. This one to put my book. Let's put these up here. Over here. So, yeah, let's um, let's round this corner on this one. So that's up here, and this one does it need to be rounded? So this one you can um, yeah, this was just a scrap on an index card where I was practicing stencils and using my spackle. And then I just added some ink to them. Get my feet wet. You know, I try things and then I save my um, practice things and sometimes I can incorporate them. So that'll break up the, the page. Okay, these are um, loose because the book was getting so fat I took it apart. So um, eventually I'll reassemble everything when I'm done. But this is just my sample book. So this is a pocket. So um, we only want to go down one side in the bottom. And we can cut this off or use our our hole punch and see if we can get it. There you go. Okay. So that's a pocket. And um, we can put the first one we made in here or we can put the one we just made in here as well. And it's, um, you know, it has a tab on the side. So when it's folded, The tab sticks out, and when you open it, it's inside on your page. So, just a thought. I hope you like that. Again, um, go through and um, use up your different freebies. You know, I have just a folder that says freebie folder, and I put my things in there. And then when I'm ready to go, I just pull it out and, um, you know, I just printed the sheets and I took them with me at the surgery center and I just cut away. So thanks for joining me. I hope you'll try these. Um, and this is a collaboration of love. I think we're, this is series number seven. God bless. Bye.